Hello everybody, welcome back to YouTube's premier storyboarding channel, Ink and Grow Rich. In part 2 of today's episode, we'll get feedback from the director regarding our initial sketches, implement his changes, and then move on to the finished art. And so, without further ado, here's part 2. In our last exciting episode, we pulled together a set of initial sketches and then shot those off to the director. Let's go ahead and pick up with his response, which reads... Hey Vinny, thanks for those. We have a better idea of location now. Let me know your availability for a call this morning. After sending me this new location document that you're looking at now, I had a call with the director and he walked me through the changes. Right off the bat, the single biggest adjustment we're going to need to make is to change the location in the boards to match the actual physical location. Now, I wish I could tell you this was a rare occurrence, but the truth is, sometimes people are just in a rush to get the ball moving, and so they'll have you start drawing with the boards before locations are nailed down. It happens, you go with the flow, and accept that it's part of the process. Now, as you may remember, our first pass at a spot began with an exterior shot of an apartment building. That shot has been eliminated entirely. Instead, we're just gonna open inside the apartment as the party begins to hit its stride. As usual, I'm just going to trace right over the location photo they sent me, and focus just on throwing some people in here to populate the party. So basically, you just trace. The second shot is changed slightly so that it's just a single of our hero walking in with the nachos. In the first round of sketches, we were shooting over the kitchen island at him with a few people sprinkled into the foreground for good measure. But the new location doesn't allow for that setup, so here we are. For shot three, we're going to punch in for a close-up of product shot as he puts it down on the table. Shot four is a close-up of a hand grabbing a nacho. I took the liberty of downloading a reference photo and I'm now tracing away. Just say it. You're a tracer. Oh, yeah. Going back to our original boards, we had drawn up a three-person reaction shot, which we can still use, except we're going to now make that shot four and we'll move the nacho close-up forward by one frame. You remember in the original boards how the director wanted to mimic this opening shot of Star Wars? Well, apparently the client aren't fans. They asked him to change it. So these next three frames are going to describe a slightly different reveal. The camera's still pulling back slowly, but now we're at a three-quarter angle instead. Plus, I've now got photos of the actual nacho box to work with. Though the original shot wasn't approved, we can still go back and salvage all of those hands that I drew, so it's not a complete loss. All I'm doing here is quickly rearranging some of these shots just to make it flow a bit better visually. Then I'm going to open up my arrows stock sheet and copy a few arrows and paste them into place. The next three shots from the old board we can grab and drop into the new board because they were approved. So now we've got that low angle looking up at the four people along with the two eating shots. Nobody commented on the fact that that was former President George W. Bush in that last frame. It must have slipped past him. And the final two shots for this board are going to be a simple product shot and then a Taco Bell logo, which the agency was kind enough to supply me with. With our second round of sketches done, it's time to once again shoot them out to the director for approval. Shortly afterwards, I received this email saying, It all looks good. Just 5C could be a bit wider. Good to clean the frames. Thank you. And that is the green light we have been waiting for. From here on out, all I've got to do is trace over my existing sketches and clean things up a bit. You f***ing tracer! Your mother's a tracer!
With all the initial sketches out of the way, I went online and downloaded a handful of photos that I can drop down in place of all the characters. Something about this guy's knowing smirk appealed to me, so we'll go ahead and use him. I can get away with this because they haven't cast a spy yet, so I'm free to draw pretty much anybody I like. For this background character, I'm just going to grab somebody from my stock extras page. For those of you new to this channel, I keep a library of commonly drawn assets which I can draw from when it makes sense to do so. So I've got collections of cell phones, cars, buildings, you name it. This particular file has a collection of background people that I've drawn up over the years. Every time I complete a job, I'll go through boards to see what can be recycled and add that to my collection. Over the past few years, that library has really grown and is now super useful. If you're drawing digitally, I would really encourage you to start one of your own. As you can see here, I threw my cell phone up on a tripod and took a number of selfies showcasing my hand reaching for imaginary nachos. All I've got to do then is email them to myself and drop them into place. Easy peasy. everybody that's just about gonna wrap it up for today's episode if you have any thoughts or comments on what i did here today drop on down to the comment section and hit me up buttercup and as always if you found this video insightful or entertaining and would like to see more of them in the future go ahead and hit the subscribe button below till next time this is Vinny delay with ink and grow rich